So, down this transport, what the hell is the new ship? It's the brown ship. And once again, the lights are off. I actually like transporting by potted plants. Hold on. It really feels like this is going to start to become a puzzle now. All this is for the sake of the battery. There's two options of where to go. Like, I got to work a little bit backwards. Oh. But following this trail leads me here. Huh? Because I need to get into the pot directly above me, don't I? I can get behind this good old overworld puzzle. Can't knock over a tree, unfortunately. It's surprisingly sturdy. So let's back up and choose the other direction. But I feel like it's not as simple as just choosing the other direction, is it? Maybe it is. Oh, it's technically not as simple. I have to bump it, and then I have to bump it again. So if I come up from the top now, I can bump it here. Then if I go all the way back, I can bump it yet again. If I jump into this pot, I can bump it from here, which I believe should be workable now. Here we are. I've made it in this pot, and it can knock the battery in. Clever. Honestly, I would not hate more overworld puzzles like this. Stop moving? Is the game trying to get me to quit? So, I have but one puzzle to solve. And it's working with dots. I gotta become big. Well, based on the size I need to get, I assume this actually needs to involve more of increasing my height, like so. Yeah, but if I do that, what else could I possibly do? What could possibly be the unforeseen consequence here? Well, what if I go the opposite direction? Maybe this is a different consequence called break out, where I can mow down fences. So if I reset, I could set it up to break the other fences. Which would look like that. Pretty cool. Now I'm not gonna eat just yet. Because I'm pretty sure I need to be exactly this size in order to, um, to get through the other fence. We'll see if that's true, though. And there we go. All right, fence is broken out of. And now I can hopefully get my food and escape in peace. Yep, that easy. Well, what a funny mechanic. So if this was truly meant to be before the standing up puzzle, I guess this would kind of be your clue into the standing puzzle where like when I was working with that, I had like no possible context of like how I could possibly get on the walls. But if you accidentally stand up in that puzzle, you could be thinking about it and then do it in the upcoming world that I sequence broke to. Yeah, okay, I have an idea. This is a thing of two steps. One of them is breaking off for food. The other is setting up this uh, funny worm as my backdrop. Actually, I shouldn't even be eating the food yet. Yeah, hold on, this isn't as easy as I would hope. At least I can come back around to rescue the worm. But I figure this has to somehow be the push for my tail. The more I think about it, the more I think I need to rotate it. You know what, I'm gonna leave it right there right now and then just try to get the food in position first. Because the food in position is important, but then I also, whoops, gotta get the L piece in position. I think that would first involve flipping it. Now, I hope that I can still rescue it, and I can. But look, see? If I stand right here, I can push up against the worm, allowing me to knock down the fence. That's a solid structure because it's propped up against the fence behind it. Very interesting. So I got to be able to position worms in areas for me to knock down fences. Here, the fence covers the goal. But here's an issue. I mean, the, the single dot is way down here. Yeah, once it's in the corner, it can't get out. Also, a uh, second thing to note is that only, even though both get pushed onto the goal at the same time, only one goes in. So I can't make myself four split into two and then push them both in, or I can't simultaneously push two pieces in to make four. I guess one thing I can do, though, is if I eat and don't have tail to grow, it would jam the food in my mouth. And is that why this one worm is so strangely shaped? Because I figure I could set up a structure kind of like this. I don't know, something feels like this could be kind of close. Like if I set up the worm here, it can't be pushed up or to the right. So if I eat the food, it gets jammed in my mouth, but eventually it grows. That's why I was thinking, oh, I've got to push the big worm closer. But then if I do that, it can be pushed around. Like I assume it gets jammed in the mouth and then it pushes the big worm back. But I really need to lock it into place. I'm not sure how else I could set this up then. Because in order to have this tight hallway, I either need a four gap on top or on the side. 
Well, the very bottom part of the long snake technically isn't needed, but I thought it would fall, fall into the goal if it were split off. Like, let's say I just do a quick flip and then slice this off. Yeah, it just loses. Maybe I just need to flip the long worm a bit more. Maybe instead of slicing it, you just take it and you flip it. Maybe this is the ideal shape. Oh, it is clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looked like I didn't need to flip it at all, but that is in fact just the correct solution. Just hold it in the mouth and bring back this mechanic from the very beginning of the game that only was used again now. The jamming of the food in the mouth. I was worried that they were going to desert that because that was a pretty cool reveal. What a fun throwback. And what if more puzzles? It looks like a frowny face. I need to turn that frown upside down. Oh, I get the idea actually. I just, I can start by eating one of these. And then I just need you to know, get the food somewhere usable. I guess there is actually fine. Because if I want to break down the fence, wouldn't I need to do that? Um, if that tilts me up, then actually I shouldn't be eating either food. One of them needs to help me knock down the fence. The other one needs to get in the way of the fence. So my tail is something solid to push back against. Then begins the mystery of how do I get these dots off the edge? Maybe I gotta push a dot to a corner? No, I don't think so. Maybe I do actually have to eat a dot then, because maybe instead of using the fence as a solid structure, I have to actually use myself. Like, am I allowed to set up some sort of solid, solid snake? I have no idea on this one. I'm gonna take a hint. No, it's telling me that I have to do what I thought I had to do. Because I guess I could eat one of them. Oh, that's how you set it up. So, I, okay, I think I know where I would set it up to. Because this should be able to set up. Oh, and it's easier said than done. Okay, what if I start here back all the way up? Then I can set it up. There we go. Yeah, that, that, was, that was tricky to set up. Add the idea, push it into myself. Just set up's hard, man. That's... I'm glad the game has hint systems for stuff like that. That is a giant worm. Is this even solvable? No, but I want to solve it so bad. Oh, it's one of those I have to start from elsewhere. Yeah, look at the connection. It sends it to here, which means it has to come out this door. Oh, I want to solve that so bad. Well, it will have to wait. Is this something I may start? It is something I can start. And there's a lot of wiring that needs to happen. I also gotta think about how exactly I'm getting that tiny little food piece across, but I think I have an idea. Actually, it's not a great idea. I was thinking if I could get this worm into the water, then it would serve as a bridge, but it's not getting into the water. Well, if I push this worm into the water, it could be a feasible bridge. Gotta back the food to be right there. Now it's on the mainland, so at least it's a solvable puzzle from here. Well, let's hope so. Well, I don't quite expand in the way I would hope. So that's where this other guy's got to come in. Oops, can't do anything there. I actually have no idea how to get this out. I don't have any good ideas. What if I push the worm all the way here? Maybe that's the good idea I need. Because then at least I should be able to get it out? Okay, I can get it out. If anything, working with the bigger or second worm was a mistake for now. Because I should actually be focusing on getting the food to dry land. Which looks like this. There we go. Now I should be able to get this piece out. Which looks like this. Okay, awesome. Crisis averted. I think I had to adjust the position of the food, but all should be good otherwise. Yeah, because now it's forced to knock down the fence. There we go. Cool puzzle. But uh, I didn't get stuck on the setup that time. Love to see it. Do I have enough to open this door? Exactly enough. Good. I guess the game actually forces you to be perfect here. I mean, it is a later world, so I don't hate that demand of perfection. Let's see what the heck this puzzle's all about. I gotta stay the same length. So the idea is I have to eat. Nah. I have to knock down a fence, then cut off a little bit of myself. If I eat just one of the foods, then do a little cutting. But it would look like that, which throws the food into the water, which is a bad thing. And from here, this might have potential. 
Let me get out of here first. And think about this long and hard. Like, I'm trying to think if I can use the dead worm as some sort of backstop. Hmm. You know what I'm thinking about? See how the fence kind of goes back for a bit? What if the worm's behind the fence so it doesn't have room to go back? If I push the worm through here, then hold on. I could then easily come around, push it into place. Now, is that the solution? I hope it is, because that would be cool. Oh, sick. Awesome puzzle. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The game continues to surprise, even when I thought it could possibly be out of surprises. I mean, I, 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 I've not been impressed this far into a game in a long time. Now, this is one hell of a challenge. How on earth do I get a two length all the way out there? Has to cross a gap of eight. Does breaking down a fence even help here? I would imagine I'd maybe need to cut off a little bit of my own tail. Right now, I don't even see how um, knocking down a fence would even help me. Um, but I can make like a floating island. This just feels so intimidating. I don't know, I feel like I gotta just start messing around with stuff and maybe some idea will come to mind. What would it really take to get a two length worm out there? Like multiple island stepping stones or a really long bridge? I don't see how the really long bridge could happen because the five piece above me can only be split into three pieces. Two vertical short worms and a single food piece. The bottommost worm is meant to fall in the hole and that food, I have no idea. Maybe I am meant to do the only thing I can think of, which is knock up my tail and then create that. Well, I have an idea. Back up to when I'm a little bit longer and actually can push this into the water. I think I actually am meant to do this. I am fairly certain just reset once more. Just simply get this down from the top. Just put it here, not in the water. Because that way when I eat, I go up. I can flip and cut it now. And I can push it into position, which may or may not be here. And then what's going to happen is when I push this, this all moves together. And then I can push the part that's standing out, which pushes the part underneath, making a bridge. Awesome. So I did that uh, however many episodes ago in a slightly different way. So interesting, this world tells you about the fact that you can make yourself taller, but it's only in the next world where you get to truly utilize that mechanic to climb on the walls. What is this, a giant maze? So I am length seven right now, and I need to become length 11 in order to win, which means eating each of the four dots. So I feel like eating this dot early on is a trap, or I could jam it in my mouth, or I could just go around the long way. And there's no way it's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure this just has to be eaten normally. There's no way this fence is getting destroyed. But I think what's different now is when I eat this, it stays jammed in the mouth until now. But maybe I can wait even longer? Oh, interesting. Interesting. I understand now. Do I understand though? Like, what if I eat both foods and then try to push down the elbow macaroni worm? I'm also stuck. If I was one longer, I wouldn't be stuck. But I am. Let me try a different idea. I could avoid this food and then come around so my tail is facing it and then push it back. I can push back that far, which maybe could let me set something up here. Because then, if I eat, it's jammed. Now I think I actually need to have eaten this other piece of food. Because if I loop around now, it makes my tail go up. But I guess one benefit of it is that I can do a turnaround now and then come down here, which lets me back up. Now I feel like I got to knock down the fence to win. So I'm going to eat this one first. Okay, guess not. I'll eat this one first. Oh, which does let me back up. But am I not stuck? I am stuck. Yeah, so I do feel like I still have to knock down a fence somehow. Oh, I figured it out. Right, so if I eat this worm first, I'm the proper size to come all the way in, then back up so my tail's against the wall. 
<laughs> Why did I think this would help me? I am though the proper size to like chase my tail. So maybe there's still some merit to all this. One of these days, there's gonna be a puzzle where I can eat my own tail somehow. I don't know exactly what it would take, but it feels like it has to happen. So what I wanna find out is if it's possible to do a turnaround before I eat both of the dots, because that seems to be the only way I can kind of get in and out. Now I could set that up. Oh, I have an idea. For starters, I could push that food only to there, because then I would have the exact distance to stand up, which is probably the turnaround I need. Yeah, because if I were to go and eat down below, now I can actually eat both foods and escape because I'm the exact length to do so. Oh, that's probably all I need to solve the puzzle. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Came together beautifully. Neat maze. Well, am I getting close to captain's quarters? Because there's some stuff I want to do here. Uh, another puzzle, which looks pretty hard to access. Unless if I can like chuck my can up on the level itself, which I can do. Okay, hold up though. Let's try this again. Well, it's always facing that way. I don't like that. Can't really bank it off the edges. How do I flip? Well, I guess I can point be pointed diagonally down, which doesn't help me either. Okay, but the trees are bouncy. Look how they bounce. Look at this. Boing. So clearly, I just need the right bank shot. I doubt that's the case, but it's interesting. Again, this feels like it's actually solved after I can rotate the ship, because I bet I could then rotate the ship in a way that if I throw the can... Is actually facing towards the goal. Man, so much I actually can't do until I reach the head of the ship. Am I here yet? I think I am. Well, let me just try turning this ship around because the passengers have been misbehaving. 